What is it? Have a seat, please. In all the years that I've known Ethan, he's only been serious about two women. Was, what happened to her? Well, she was taken by some people who wanted to get to Ethan. It's okay, he got it back in one piece. Then he quit the game. They were happy for a while. But every time something bad happened in the world, Ethan would think I should have been there. And she would wonder who's watching the world while Ethan is watching me. Deep down, they both knew that someday, somehow, something truly terrible was going to happen. So. Where is she now? She's a ghost. Good at it, too. Taught her myself. Every now and then, she sends up a signal to let Ethan know she's safe. And that keeps him going. Why are you telling me this? We're in this mess because Ethan wouldn't let me die. He's a good man. And he cares about you more than he can admit. That's one more worry than he can handle right now. If you care about him, you should walk away. I'm coming with you. Wait up, stay on comms. Ethan? This is... Rob. Rob Thorne. Doctor. Rob Thorne. I worked with Julia. At Mass General. Before New York. Oh, you can. <laughs> what a coincidence. I know. I, what brings you all this way? I was, uh, I was in Tartuk, not far from here, and heard help was needed. Oh, well, actually, uh, we're just about finished here. The whole village is inoculated, but, uh, what were you doing out in Tartuk? Rob's on vacation. No. Um, I'm working. You're a long way from home. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to our guardian angel. Guardian? Well, yeah, we were running a field hospital outside of Darfur when the outbreak happened here. Here comes this phone call from an anonymous donor out of the blue. And uh, he says he's ready to underwrite the entire operation. One condition. We run the whole thing. What that? I certainly can out of the blue. Out of the blue. It's quite a full life. Yeah, you know, before Julia, I never traveled. I never even left New York. Never left the hospital. Seven days a week, just on vacations. Ethan, I think I found something. I'm going fast track you. She was certainly 50. I'm exactly 55. And uh, she convinced me to let it all go. Help where it's needed most. So we've been on the go ever since. I've never been more fulfilled. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Well, we should get going. Oh. We have a lot of packing to do. Oh, no, I'll handle that. You two should catch up. Oh, no, I should get out of your hair. <laughs> Are you kidding? You should stick around. I'm just sorry you came all this way for nothing. Um, tell you what, well, uh, we'll pack. And why don't we give you a ride back to Turtuk? You two can catch up in the car. Yeah? Very kind. Settled. See you soon. It was good to see you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm 
so sorry. See you later. I'm sorry. There's no reason to be sorry. No. I'm sorry. For everything. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my life. I love what I do, and I never would have found this if I hadn't made you. Everything that happened. It taught me who I am and showed me. But what happened there? It was more nothing happened. Because you were here. And I sleep soundly at night knowing you always will. <sighs>